Hello, so sorry I've been kind of MIA, been a little busy with work. Uh, this is a medication update. Um, I have not taken my medication in a little over two weeks because I have been out. And um, since I started working, I switched insurance providers. Uh, previously, I was on my dad's, my, my son's dad's insurance and as well as I had Medi-Cal, so IEHP, um, as a backup, but since I started working, now I can um, pay for my own insurance, and I switched myself and my son to that health insurance. Um, and previously, I was going to a small a small neighborhood a pharmacy nearby to pick up my prescriptions, um, and they're super friendly. They've never given me any issues, but the thing is that... Um, I don't get home till around between four or six o'clock um, most days when I'm out of work um, because sometimes after work I still have to do my job as a reading specialist and go um, tutor at, at kids' houses. So sometimes I'm home late and that neighborhood pharmacy closes. It closes by like five or 5.30 and a lot of the times I was rushing to get home um, to pick up my medication and I just wouldn't get there on time. And another thing is that they're not open on weekends. So what I ended up doing is I told my psychiatrist that I wanted to switch switch to Walgreens. Um, and I thought that would fix the issue, but Walgreen, Walgreens has been giving me all kinds of problems. Also, um, trying to fill my prescription, which is a uh, dexmethylphenidate, which is also known as Focalin. Um, Trentelix for the depression, um, dexmethylphenidate or focalin for uh, the inattentive ADHD, and um, what is the other one? A uh, propranolol for the physical symptoms of anxiety. So as of right now, it's been over two weeks since I've taken any of my medications because I'm out of all three, and so I'm just kind of going back and forth with my provider, and this morning I sent him a message and I said, you know what, Walgreens is giving me a hard time, let's just go back to American Surgical Pharmacy because they may not be open on weekends, and you know, they close uh, by like 5 or 5.30, but at least they give, uh, they have good customer service and they don't give me so many issues. So yeah, um, sometimes it can be a pain to go through the insurance. Um, one of the reasons why Walgreens didn't want to fill my prescription was one, because I had changed insurance and they were having trouble approving it. And then they said that the insurance that I provided didn't want to approve it for them because they were not my home pharmacy. So I just don't want to go through all that. I didn't think it would be so difficult to fill my prescription, but apparently it is. Um, uh, I want to talk a little bit about my social anxiety for those of you who are watching my videos for that aspect of it because I do have a major, major social anxiety um, as well as major depressive disorder and um, ADHD and cerebral palsy. Um, I have physical symptoms of anxiety. My heartbeat, you know, my heart starts raise, racing, my palms get sweaty. Um, and another thing that happens is if I'm talking to someone, I will blush just randomly and I'll turn really, really red and I hate it because I can feel my entire face and my ears just heating up and I can't control it. And since I started working as a school speech language pathologist, I've had to attend, I think in the past three or four months since I started working, because I started working in December, uh, late December, and we are now in April. I've had to attend a total of at least 10 meetings, IEP meetings. For those of you who don't know what that is, uh, those are meetings that have to be held annually for students who are in an individualized education plan or a, um, who receive special services from the school, such as speech, um, adapted PE, um, you know, uh, occupational therapy, uh, psychological services, all of that stuff. Typically, the IEP meetings consist of all the service providers, which would be me because I'm providing speech for all these um, for these kids. Um, the the kids' parents, uh, usually an administrator, so typically a vice principal or a principal. Sometimes a school psychologist um, and the general ed teacher and whatever whatever other services the kid is receiving, and we kind of go around and we all. Um, 
present or say our part and talk about how the kid is progressing. In my case, I talk about how the kid is progressing in speech and whether or not they've met their goal for the year, their goals for the year, and whether or not, um, I mean, and what their new goals or proposed goals are for the following year. And, um, of course, ask the parents if they have any questions. So that's typically how the meeting goes. And at first, it was absolutely terrifying. Um, and it still makes me uncomfortable. And I just had a meeting like yesterday or the day before. And I still, I still turn red and I still feel myself blushing and all of that. But actually, um, I have been noticing with that with all the exposure exposure that I've been getting um, to having meetings and kind of being forced to present in front of a team and to talk to the parents. Uh, I still get the physical symptoms, but um, they're not as hard to deal with. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. Um, I still feel very, very nervous and um, all of that, but I think it's very gradually uh, getting easier to go through these meetings. And that's kind of what I was hoping for, right? That uh, by exposing myself to these uh, situations that my social anxiety would um, diminish because I've always wanted to be a speech therapist. And I knew that that involved talking to a lot of teachers, a lot of kids' parents, going to meetings, you know, writing reports, doing assessments. And I didn't want my social anxiety to get in the way of any of that. So I just kind of threw myself into the profession. Um, I still have my um, times, I still come home feeling extremely drained from being around people all day because I'm very much an introvert, but I don't know. Um, I really still believe, I believe that exposure is the best therapy. Now, if you have major, major social anxiety, I don't suggest that you just throw yourself into the hardest thing that you can find, like having meetings with parents. And, you know, I suggest that you gradually kind of do something that you're a little scared of, like maybe making a phone call, um, ordering pizza, and then just work your way up from there. Um, so yeah, it's not all bad news. Um, I also got a car. I got a Tesla. Uh, Tesla has always been my dream car, and I got this, the full self-driving package because, as you may or may not know, I'm currently taking uh, driving lessons. I have my permit, but I don't yet drive on my own. And I feel like the Tesla, for some reason, it makes me feel safer, right? Um, plus all the cool technology and all of that. I've always been absolutely fascinated ever since um, the first model came out. I told myself that that was, that one day I was going to get myself that car. And um, I was able to take out a loan through a credit union for teachers and people who work at the schools called Schools First. And my credit is crap because I made some not so great financial decisions when I was younger, but they were still able to um, approve me for a loan at a relatively decent interest rate. Um, so if you work at a school, even if you're not a teacher, you know, any school employee could go and open an account with them if you have one in your area. It's called Schools First and I highly, highly recommend it. They have great uh, customer service. But anyway, yeah, um, it's been difficult to deal with symptoms uh, like anxiety, depression, and I have no motivation to do uh, clean. I've kind of been falling behind on report writing and other things that I have to do um, that are a part of my job. And I think the fact that I haven't had access to my medication has a lot to do with that, but I'm just trying to do the best I can while I get all of this mess with my insurance, my medication figured out. Um, I don't know why I'm talking so fast. So excuse me if I went a little fast. I will uh, try to be back soon and kind of update you guys on the medication status. But yeah, that's it for now.